All right, let's talk about bringing a model into a different version of your ZBrush. So I'm on ZBrush 2021, and let's say if at home I had ZBrush 2019. Well, if I save it as a tool or even as a file, it's not going to be able to open up in the older version of ZBrush. So I feel like um, sometimes people think they're out of luck, or maybe you have ZBrush Core and you want to make that compatible with the regular version of ZBrush, here's kind of a hack to get it to work. So you can see that I've got the model with all this detail and stuff. And um, I'm going to go to my sub or my layer here, my sub tool. Geometry, I can see that it has six subdivision levels. Here's level one all the way to level six. Um, I can see that I also have multiple sub tools here. Okay. And I'm just going to demonstrate this with a couple of them, but the technique's going to be the same for all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the geometry and I'm going to put it at the highest level. Then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to export it as an OBJ. So if I go here, I'm just going to call this, um, go to desktop, I'm going to call this OBJ T-Rex underscore, and then I'm going to call it L6 for level 6. Okay, and then it might take a little bit of time. I can see this orange bar, depending on how many polygons you have. I have, th I have one polygon short of 3 million. Okay, so, um, and actually this was at level 7, which would have been, th I think, like 13 million. So what I did is I just deleted the higher level 7, uh, just so this time would be a little bit faster. So I'm just going to let this uh, think all the way. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the tongue. And um, maybe I'll pause the video. Okay, great. It took about another uh, 30, 45 seconds or so. Um, so that's exported. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to the teeth. And once again, make sure that that is on its highest subdivision level. And I'm going to go ahead and export that. So OBJ T-Rex teeth. And that's L5, level 5. It doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of doing that to stay organized. And hit save. And it's going to obviously take some time to do that. I should mention that you do need to have access to your file. Um, in other words, if, if you saved it at school or work and then you're home and you can't open it, you're kind of out of luck at that point. What you need to do is you need to have access to the file. So let's say, once again, if you're at school and you know you have a different version at home, then saving it how I'm doing, exporting OBJs, is, is going to be a cool trick for you. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close ZBrush completely. And I'm going to pretend that I'm actually opening a different version of ZBrush. Okay, in my case, it is exactly the same version, but I, I feel like I don't think you can install multiple versions of ZBrush on the same computer. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of launch ZBrush here. And let's pretend this is ZBrush uh, 2018 or something like that. It doesn't really matter what version it is, or even if it's a ZBrush core. What I can do, instead of going to load tool, I'm going to go to import, okay, on the tool settings. And if your version has, it looks different, like let's say ZBrush core, there's going to be an import button somewhere. So I'm just going to hit import. And now I'm going to say OBJ T-Rex L6. You can see that it's doing this and now I can drag it in here and hit edit um, I can see that it has just that sub tool just that one so if I want to bring in the other one this is how I bring it in I'm gonna to go to append a star and then I'm gonna select that star and I'm gonna to go to import and I'm gonna bring in his teeth and then obviously I would do that for each one now you might be saying well Dave that's all good and all but I don't have uh, my subdivision levels. Well, here's the trick. So if I come back up here, um, and I'm not sure if ZBrush Core actually has this functionality, but you could then, you could sculpt in this guy, do everything you want to do, and then export as an OBJ again, and then bring it back to school, and then you can continue. Uh, you're going to kind of have to do this hack, but here's kind of a cool thing. 
and come down here to geometry and if I click on reconstruct subdiv if I do that it's like I'm dividing backwards okay you can see it's getting less and less dense so I'm gonna divide backwards and there now I have the exact level one I can see it actually has my polygroups and if I bring this up I, actually I don't think it would have the polygroups I think that um, well actually it did I don't know that's kinda weird um, I can see that now I have my subdivision levels that I can work with even though I brought this in as an OBJ so on this one here I can do the same thing geometry reconstruct subdiv I can see it there's the teeth and I think this one only had five so looks like I've got one more to go I should mention something that to make this work your model should be perfect quads okay if it was dynameshed or if it was something weird about the topology or if there's some triangles in it it may not work properly so as long as you have nice clean topology at your level one which you should um, like this should be nice clean topology then I feel like this trick should work now you can work in your subdivision levels when you're done if you export it or you've saved it as a tool or if even if you went to file save if you're bringing it to a newer version of ZBrush so in other words let's say if I'm working on ZBrush 2018 and now I'm gonna go I know I'm gonna work on 2021 it would be fine for me to save it as a tool okay the benefit of just regular saving it is that all of my sub tools will be in place um, all of my subdivisions will be in place but if I wasn't sure what version of ZBrush I was going to be bringing it to then I would have to once again export as an OBJ I would export each sub tool individually I would export it at the highest subdivision level because I know that I can always kind of reverse engineer it if you will and sub or reconstruct subdivisions backwards to get my subdivision levels so it's kind of a little um, a little hack a kind of a workaround there so hopefully that was helpful um, once again leave any messages and if this was helpful make sure to hit the subscribe